clearly the educational model that's in place is broken. Uh, education has become a commodity uh, that increasingly only the wealthy can pay for. Universities are, even elite universities are being deformed into vocational institutions. I uh, have taught at Princeton uh, three times as a visiting professor. It's right down the street from me. Like Harvard, uh, its uh, most popular major is computer science. The humanities are withering away. Um, people are paying, uh, families are going into deep debt, $60,000 a year, uh, and education is sold as, uh, especially if you get into an elite university, uh, not uh, for its merits in terms of teaching you how to think, uh, but giving you the status, the branding, and the skills uh, to enter uh, uh, elite institutions uh, that can make you wealthy. Goldman Sachs, of course, descends on Princeton every year. Uh, people scramble in their uh, freshman year. That first week, I will see these young kids in tuxedos and ball gowns going off to the eating clubs uh, to try and especially get into the elite ones like Ivy because that has a direct connection to Goldman Sachs. Uh, there's such a distortion and destruction uh, within the educational system. And of course, uh, as universities become uh, so phenomenally expensive, especially the elite schools, uh, they um, uh, are uh, pricing themselves out, but to a um, smaller and smaller portion of the, um, of the population. It, it, it is uh, my son went to Colgate University and then went on to Columbia, but he, at Colgate, it was just a giant country club from Darien and Greenwich, Connecticut and uh, everywhere else. Um, uh, and that uh, has been accompanied, of course, by the withering away of the humanities itself. Um, we just saw Howard University, a great university, uh, shut down its classics department. I spoke uh, a little while ago, a couple of years ago at the University of Washington. And when I was there, they had just announced that they were abolishing the philosophy and the theater department. Meanwhile, of course, they have a gleaming, well-funded business school. Business schools have no places on university campuses. Uh, uh, so I think that the what you're doing and the model you're setting up is uh, important because the old model is failing, certainly in terms of education, it's failing. Um, the purpose of an education is, is, of course, to teach you how to think, not what to think. Uh, the purpose of an education is not to create systems managers uh, for the corporate state. Uh, and that, of course, now has been, uh, you know, our entire educational system has been riddled with that, uh, especially through charter schools. Uh, so that if you go to an inner city school in Camden, you're taught enough vocational literacy to stack shelves at a Walmart or uh, work behind uh, the cash register at a fast food restaurant. Uh, and if you go to Princeton, you're given uh, the vocational skills to go work for Citibank or uh, Goldman Sachs or some other huge Wall Street uh, concern. Um, but of course, what this is really doing is uh, creating a population uh, that uh, is bereft in many ways of what we would call a classical education. They, they lack the capacity to ask the questions. When you can't ask the questions, you can't find the answers. Um, the, hum the humanities and education by its nature should be subversive. It is about uh, uh, deconstructing centers of power and looking at how they work and examining uh, those uh, power systems and asking and uh, confronting the, that monolithic power to ask what it means to lead a life of meaning and purpose. Um, though all of those transcendent values are being washed out of uh, uh, the, edu the educational system uh, on purpose, of course, uh, even within universities, uh, people are forced, professors are forced especially at state universities, state colleges, to raise their own money uh, for their own research, and of course, often for their own salaries. Well, who's going to pay? Is, is, uh, is Citibank going to pay um, someone in the classics department or somebody in the, in the uh, English department 
uh, to do research. No, they will, they will pay for research that benefits them. Uh, and so uh, I, I, I think that where you are moving and what you're doing uh, is uh, not only commendable and important, but responding to uh, a deep and very, for me, very frightening decay uh, that I have seen in the universities that I attended uh, and the universities that I've taught at. So I just, uh, you know, wanted to briefly uh, congratulate you on what you've done and, and uh, and look for uh, you know continued success as you go forward. Thank you.